Preakness Center is the 6-5 to five favorite to win Preakness 147 this Saturday at Baltimore's Pimlico Racecourse. The beaten Kentucky Derby favorite is looking as formidable as ever, looking no worse for the wear. So while many Derby starters see their careers falter after running for Roses, Epicenter's connections are hoping to continue adding to his resume now and for the foreseeable future. The, I don't know, the reality of it, you know what I mean? It just, we were second, turn the page, move on. In spite of a heartbreaking runner-up finish in the Kentucky Derby, extending his losing streak to 24 straight, Steve Asperson is the living definition of being pragmatic. The Hall of Fame trainer is dealing with things sensibly and realistically, being practical in spite of the sting of what might have been. What do we do now? You know, we just, we got a quality three-year-old that has some wonderful opportunities uh, left in the second half of the year, and uh, we plan on having him ready for him. Future opportunities like the Breeders' Cup Classic at Keeneland in less than six months. Epicenter has four wins and two seconds in seven career starts, and has been carefully prepared for the big picture, with his races spaced far enough apart to maximize his potential and longevity. So while the grind on the road to the Derby takes a toll physically on many horses, not so much on Epicenter. And while the sting of defeat still resonates, it was not an all or nothing proposition. This is a story still being written before the legacy is complete. Still plenty of gas left in the tank. Important with the next opportunity just two weeks after the Derby. Preakness 147, a short turnaround rare in the sport modern day. Where Asmussen and Epicenter are the prohibitive favorites to wear the black-eyed Susans that go to the winner. He is uh, very accomplished, but uh, yet to be a grade one winner. Um, for him to add a grade one and the classic to his resume would be very important to us.